Hello everyone, this is Paper Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go over some uh, elements, some magazine cutouts, and just some things that I've been working on. Um, I know it's been a little tricky for me. I've already kind of discussed with y'all about how um, it, it's not easy for me to make uh, a process video where you know I'm able to like come up with like a magical craft um, anyway <laughs> I'm showing you a shaker tag that I made and that background those like beads on that image um, and that like rose was was a magazine image and so here I'm just showing you um, what I've done with that image and um, I turned it into a shaker tag I also used some elements uh, from the die cuts which was my previous video I will put below and then this is um, actually a packet not packaging but um, if you remember those succulents on that magazine there was a page that also had the succulents and so I went ahead and kind of cut a piece of it in a way that did not disturb that kind of like mint colored image that I still want to use and so I kind of cut just kind of the tip of it and then I combined it with um, some Hobby Lobby images that I found on some like inspiration um, like little flyers that they had there for free and so I put those together and again made that into a shaker tag um, and then I really in got inspired from those succulents and found this beautiful paper pad on sale in um, Joann's and they're all succulents and so I'm kind of being drawn to the succulents um, showing you the name Miss Miss Sparkles I think is the name of that um, it's like I guess the the hobby or the um, Joann's brand and so yeah I'm kind of putting those together uh, because I I'm sensing and feeling like I'm gonna probably be kind of going in that direction with the project and so also uh, I don't I'm sure you guys I will link the video below but I had cut out this mouth and I told you all how much I love a big mouth and this one uh, was just lovely and so it, you can't really see the sentiment but it says treat yourself and so then I've got all these cute little treats um, I used just regular packaging plastic you know clear packaging and um, but yeah I cut that out and then I actually glued it to a like a little board that came with my iPhone and it I just covered up you know the advertisements with stickers and other sentiments and images so um, and I can totally use that in my junk journal or even an altered glue book maybe since I do like to kind of make these kind of hybrid books where I might put pockets in and then you know stick whatever images um, or even shaker tags so anyway I was just showing you guys here um, some of the images from the Hobby Lobby little um, they're not magazines they're like little advertisements about like products that they sell and how you might be able to use them in crafts and I've told you guys in the past that I spent quite a bit of money there so I don't feel bad about using those obviously I don't recommend people just going in there and getting a massive amount and then like being you know irresponsible about it um, and and um, doing it in a, in a mass way or something and not buying anything like I don't know I guess I'm just kind of funny about that but okay so here's a this is the little uh, insert that I won on um, Sherry's channel, Turquoise Dreaming. And this girl is, her face is made of three types of washi tapes, a, an image that I cut out, and then some elements that were glued, 
not glued, that were like stickers in that packet. Um, I also altered the cover um, and put a lot of washi tape. Now I'm just doing like a little mini, uh, I guess showing you a little flippy of it, kind of just showing you some of the things that I've done and uh, just kind of some of the things that I want to do. So one of the ways that I uh, use my glue books is that I use uh, little like quotes or things like that. And, um, you know, they're or words or sentiments. And so if I read something interesting that I can cut out, uh, oh, that's funny. I don't know if you just read that, but again not not sure if i'll be bold enough to use that somewhere <laughs> i may do it on my personal glue book probably but anyway i was telling you that what i do is i'll have several glue books or junk journals that i want to glue on and i will just kind of play with them as i feel led to you know and so um i don't necessarily like go from beginning to end and finish one glue book at a time. I basically work with many of them at the same time because I feel like, um, you know, it's not a contest and it's not a race. <laughs> as much as I want to sometimes feel like, you know, I've completed something and yeah, once I've completed a page, it's awesome. You know, you guys have seen me you know put some color in some of them to complete them and that's a ton of fun too but you know it takes me a minute to get there you know I know not everybody does it like that I mean some people can literally just kind of do a beginning and end of a page and I I, I can too I mean it's I've done it before but on a regular basis when I'm doing a glue book or gluing it, it's you know I feel like it needs to be more relaxed so I'm not interested in putting like a massive amount of stress on myself to complete a page I just feel like I want to be in the flow and so if I see an image that I like that I think goes in a certain you know glue book then that's what I'm gonna do now some of the the reason why I choose different glue books uh, believe it or not, is a combination of, you know, what what the blue, glue book is all about, like in my mind, you know, like in some cases, I feel like the one that that insert it, the size of it, it's smaller, and it's long. And so certain images, I feel like, um, you know, I can put together there, and they just work well, right. And so and then there are some where, you know, I feel like they're, they're pretty large images. And so I need my, my larger glue book. I have two of them that are like the size of a large magazine or a regular magazine. And um, so I'll use those uh, for, you know, basically the size. Now this one, I've kind of made it look a little bit bigger. Than, than it actually is but it's actually not that big if I open up my hand it's about the size of my hand for for each page okay so it's not a big one it's a small it's a small glue book and it's not tiny which I do have a tiny one and I am going to probably do a video soon on it because it's just adorable but I haven't done a whole lot to it, and so I wanted to do a little more before I do a video. But anyway, yeah, the way I'm, as I'm going through the different cutouts and elements, uh, I try to think about like the different pages that I have already started and kind of start, you know, trying out to see, you know, where I might like an element. And, you know, the smaller elements tend you know, to, sh to be able to be shown off better in a smaller journal, obviously, or, or a smaller um, glue book, because they're just smaller. And so, you know, if you try to put those in a large, you know, like a magazine size 
page, you know, they're going to get pretty lost in there. So that you're not going to be able to really see them very well or appreciate them. So not to say that I don't do that sometimes. That is to use smaller images in large pages or large collages. However, you know, it's not something I do a lot, uh, you know, at, when I'm doing gluing like this. That, that's more like something I do when I'm doing a collage, which is a little different. I know it all seems kind of very similar, and it is, but collaging is different because um, it, it just is. I don't know how, I don't think I want to talk about that right now because it's, I'm going to go off track and I'm trying to just kind of go over this thought process here with the glue book. So, um, and I have done some uh, collage videos in the past, so I'm going to go ahead and link them below and they'll give you some, some explanation about that if you want to hear about that because I, I love that too. But yeah, so I'm going over this book, like I said, that is basically a little bit bigger than the size of my hand, each page. Obviously, you know, if you do a spread, it's like if you put both hands together, that's kind of what the size of the spread would be, and um, or side by side, you know, if you put your hand side by side, then that, that's the, the, the size you're going you're gonna to see. It's about the size of your two hands put side by side together. Um, but if you close the book, you know, one page is about a little bit bigger than my hand. So it, it's a fairly small book. I just absolutely love it. I used uh, some book pages from um, an old book and just made, you know, like little signatures out of them. And then I just punched holes and put those little ring binders um, through there to, you know, kind of be able to contain them. And so now I'm just trying out elements, you know, and again, I'm kind of thinking about two things. I'm thinking about colors and I'm thinking about the size and then the third thing I'm probably thinking about is the, the feeling, you know, because if something is uh, like soft and, and lovely, then it's going to be different than modern maybe and bright or something like that. Sometimes those, those thoughts and those feelings can be combined. But, um, but anyway, so some of the things are, are very instinctual, so it's kind of hard to explain but it just feels right is, is what I'm saying and you know sometimes I, I know some new people are like well I don't know what feels right and you know what guys you got to give yourself a break because it takes time to develop that sense you know when you're doing anything you know that's what experience is and so as you're doing this this is a good way to practice that now I've got this larger uh, glue book that I'm kind of going through because I have I think I had a few images in hand that I thought they were actually smaller but that I felt that they would be uh, good in, in some of the pages that I had put in there like those little teapots they're like really colorful and really cute and so I felt that they looked really well there and so there they are. That's where they're going to live. And so I'm trying to continue to finish that page. Uh, I really love how bright and modern that page looks. Um, and then I find this little image of a stamp that's like a little vintage toy. And it's really hard to see because it's so tiny and I didn't really put it up in front of the thing, in, the, in front of the camera. So you can't see it, but it's super adorable. And then again, I'm just trying out some elements and, you know, a lot of times things don't work. I mean, you, you kind of have to be patient, um, you know, and sometimes if you get to the point where you're just not having fun anymore, it may be time to take a break. You know, you may not need to keep going, you know, and that, that's a hard thing to do sometimes is just stop, you know, stop doing it. But um, sometimes as you're, I'm going through an element, I'll remember 
on like this New York sentiment on the bottom. And so I found some New York things, like a Statue of Liberty, I think, that was there, and, uh, and the Empire State Building. Or see this, I found this color heart, and for some reason I remembered this, this image I was working with, and I just knew that that would go well with that. And so, you know, even though I'm in the middle of one book, I'll just pick up another one because I remembered a particular page I'm working on and, and how you know that might look good and boom it does I love that blue heart on there it's like a baby blue heart so so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please leave your comments below if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll know when I have a new video for you um, also, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and feel free to share in your social media. Thanks again, guys. Love you so much. Love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye now.